Okay, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Professor David, and today uh, I'm replacing the EAC sensor on an N51 engine. That's off of a 2011 BMW 328i. Um, and this is a special sensor because it comes with the radiator. And as you can see here, uh, this is a radiator. And here's the EAC sensor right here, this little box. Uh, that stands for Environmental Air Catalyst Sensor. Okay? And here's the truth about these N51 Sulev motors, super ultra low emissions vehicles. They are very expensive. Okay? This radiator here can run you up about $600 to $1,000. Okay? OEM. I kid you not. I got this one off of eBay. For 130 bucks, it's used, as you can tell. But uh, it came in, and I inspected it. It looks okay. There's no cracks. Uh, hopefully, uh, I won't know for sure until I put coolant in it and pressurize it, of course. But let me tell you about this sensor here. So this sensor is only for the N51 motors, the uh, Sulev engines, and uh, when this sensor fails. It'll cause a check engine light to come on, and you'll fail smog, right? You won't pass the emissions test. And uh, these BMWs uh, that has the inline 3.0 six-cylinder engine uh, either have the N52 that has no sensor, okay? It's a normal radiator. Uh, or you'll have the, the one with the sensor, the EAC sensor, and that's the expensive one. So uh, this one's used. The guy, he just cut off the hoses on the end. He left the sensor there, the connected there. And uh, if you come over here to the car, this is the uh, the engine. And uh, normally there's a label on the hood. It'll tell you if this engine is uh, an N51 Sulev or not. So right here, California, Sulev, super ultra low emissions vehicle. Okay, here's here's the truth. Forget these cars. If you're gonna get a BMW from 2006 to 2012, around there, they all look the same. They got the E90 uh, chassis, or E91 or E92, uh, but this is the E90. They'll have either the M51 or M52 engine, and. The way you can tell is either by this label or if the label is missing, you come over here to this pump. This is a secondary air pump. And this is another thing that the N51 engines have that the N52 doesn't. This secondary air pump is also expensive. This is around $600 to $1,000 as well, OEM, okay? So if you're thinking about purchasing one of these cars, you know, make sure you're getting the N51 instead. All right, they sell these engines and uh, cars in, I don't know, about three different states, like the California, New York is one of them. And, uh, you know, they can run, run you up uh, quite a bit of money. So here's the EAC sensor on this car. As you can see, it's just hanging. It's not connected to anything, and the tip here is broken. Uh, normally, this sensor goes onto that radiator, okay? It gets inserted into the fins and uh, it's mounted directly uh, onto it. And it detects air, basically. It detects what goes, how hot the radiator is, and it detects temperature, sends that signal to the computer, right? And if, if it's broken, it's just dangling like this, then it'll cause a check engine light to come on and your fail smog, all right? And uh, this car here, I bought this car from the auction and it came like this and I found out that whoever had the car before installed the wrong radiator they installed a normal radiator on for an N52 where it doesn't have a slot for this sensor okay because when you buy this sensor it comes with the radiator as a hoe as a complete okay so that's the truth about the N51 and if you're gonna be buying a, a car like this don't get the N51, get the N52, right? The non Sulev engine. Okay, that's what I recommend. Otherwise, you're stuck with this.
Okay, so that's my take on um, N51. Thank you. Uh, I'll post information in the link below. Thank you.